We have all the pups on the bed with us right now for this video. We have Piggy laying right here. We have Mr. Pudge, Pudge right here. And then Mr. Oh, we have Guppa <laughs> right Mr. Pie. here. So if you guys hear purring and noises, Licking. it's the pups. Yeah. So I'm gonna try to stay very positive during this video, but it's definitely not something I was planning on and it's definitely not something we were planning on even filming and talking about. I will say, I did talk to Snapchat about this before, but I didn't tell them like fully everything, like what we heard today, so. I haven't said anything at all. So, you guys know, Piglet is our pride and joy, I mean, our literal child. As soon, when we started this channel, like Piglet was there, like she was, the dog like she was on the merch she was our like literal like mascot mascot she has been through it all we have grown up with piglet she is eight years old she started in Lori's apartment with us she was in the townhouse with us she moved in she got her own backyard here so as much as we love pie and pudge piglet just holds a special it's, place in it's our, our heart. first ever dog together it'll just never be matched yeah so Pig has had these lumps on her left leg for about a year, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, I had them, we had them checked out last year and the doctor just kind of looked at them and was like, oh, I don't really think they're anything. I think it's okay, keep an eye on it. If it gets hard, come back, we'll check it out. So she still has it on her and she's only getting older. Pig has had these bumps on her and now she has a smaller one and I just don't like them. I don't like that they're so hard. Mm -hmm. I just worry about her. It was time for her to get a checkup anyways. And like Julia said, we've had them looked at. We watch over them. If there's anything, the slightest chance wrong with any of our dogs, we take them like right away. Mm -hmm. We make sure. She's had these checked out before and they were benign at the time. They were really nothing. And they didn't flag any concern to the veterinarians or us or really anybody but these two actually had uh, an appointment i'd say a couple weeks ago and then pigs was a little bit later and julia actually took her to the vet yesterday and i just want to say when i was taking her to the vet yesterday i was so anxious and i'm normally not i'm normally not anxious taking them to the vet because it's like we're just going, getting whatever done, getting the medicine, it's good. But as she's gotten older, it starts to stress me out. More. I am so scared every time we take her to the vet that they're gonna tell me that something's wrong. And I have had a bad feeling about these lumps on her legs because when we got them checked out, we never got them tested. We just got them eye viewed. They kind of and felt them and they felt like okay and at stuff the like that. Yeah, at the time we really didn't think it was anything. I had a family dog before and he used to just get like um, bumps and they weren't Also, anything. Pipples are prone to fatty tumors fatty cells i think that's what cells. it is Sorry. fatty cells when they're yeah. not anything yeah so, so they were like that's just what it is it looks yeah. like that so but if it does grow let us know so it didn't grow but like i said she got another one and i just i don't think they're supposed to feel hard like that i could be wrong but i called i made her an appointment and i took her and i called sod and i was like literally about to have a panic attack and i was like i don't know why i'm so anxious taking her to the vet right now like i just feel like they're gonna tell me something bad and we love our vet they are the Best. Trust them with, with her life. Yes. Like, trust them with all their all lives. Like, my they life. are so, <laughs> like, literally, same. Yeah. Like, they are so amazing. They are the best people ever. So, we took her to the vet, and I actually got the bumps, lumps, whatever you want to call them, sampled. So, what the first thing I heard when I walked in, oh. the girl is so nice. I love her. She's the best. She was like, you know, not to scare you, but they kind of look like mast cell tumors i think is what they were called she said pities are prone to them unfortunately and there's different types they could be benign of course they could be stage one where maybe the dog doesn't have symptoms and then they could be like stage four like really bad cancerous all that fun stuff so i'm like oh my god my heart drops because i'm like great i knew i was sick coming here for a reason i was so worried about this i thought they were just going to be a cyst or a fatty a fatty cell so we tested both of the bumps with a needle. She told me with the needle test, there is only so much you can see. It can kind of give you an indicator of no, it's nothing, or hey, it might be something. We should get them removed because if we get them removed, they can go get biopsied and tested to see if it really is cancerous. So we did the test yesterday. We went on and got her extra blood work just in case <clears throat> surgery is what needed to be done. 
because they already know that we take any precautions. Always, they're as like, soon as they, yeah. They're like, it's gonna be X amount of, oh, oh, we don't like, care. I'm, and they're like, yeah, I didn't think you would care, but like, just letting you know, like, no, I'm like, do anything for her, make yeah. sure she's okay. Oh my God, and the worst part was that they were like, the results won't be until tomorrow. <laughs> she got her blood results, everything was good with that. Her blood was good, thank God, but we had to wait until today to get a phone call about these masses on her legs. So basically what they told us is the little one came back as like nothing. We don't think it's anything, but the big one came back with some cells. I don't remember the terminology. I don't remember the specific wording or what it was called, but with the cells, there's three things it could be. It could be she had an injury and she formed like scar tissue uh, because of the injury and it's picking up some kind of whatever the word is, cell. It's like a certain type of cell. It starts with an M, I believe. Another thing is she could have got debris, like a piece of stick or something or like stuck something in her. Like stuck, like a... And then once again, something formed around it. Mm. So it's creating those cells or it could be a mast cell tumor. So it could be a cancerous tumor and those could be the cells that it's picking up. And when I heard that, my heart freaking dropped. When you texted me that, I literally, like, my stomach hit the floor. I was so sick. I, like, felt like my world was gonna It's crash. not something that I'm ever expecting, but, like, it's something that, like, I feel like even if you, as a person, go to the doctors, you're scared they're gonna just, like, say something random or out of the blue to you, and, like, it does suck because, oh, damn. <laughs> oh, don't cry. Please don't cry because I already cried earlier, and I thought we weren't gonna cry. I thought we weren't the only reason why I didn't cry earlier is because Maddie was down there. I was like, bro, I can't cry for Please her. stop. Yeah. Oh, shit. Babe, no, stop. Oh, fuck. This dog is our literal world. And I would literally give her the world. And we try our best, babe. Come here. So, the, it potentially could be cancerous. Um, but she is getting surgery for it. Yeah, so what I was gonna say is it's not a positive that it is cancer. That's um, just like, it it's your be, kid, like... It could be multiple things. Mm -hmm. It could not be cancer. But as soon as we heard that, I started bawling my eyes out this morning. And I'm actually surprised that I'm calm right now. <sighs> I think... I didn't cry earlier. I was keeping it together. I think I we flip-flopped. <laughs> I'm trying not to cry now. <laughs> yeah. But I'm just telling myself, like, I truly believe that Piglet... Comes from, comes from a great bloodline. Yeah. You guys know we rescued her, but we actually ended up finding, finding. her bloodline. We f we found like the, the breeder and everything. So and we like, know she has a really good bloodline. And they're super, yeah, these dogs are great dogs. Like they're healthy. They're healthy her, dogs. Her parents are still alive. They're, they're in movies. So <laughs> like her literal siblings were in like Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and yeah. a couple other movies and stuff. So, so she comes from a good place. And what also made me feel better is the nurse said that if God forbid it would be cancerous with this type of tumor, it doesn't spread. Thank God. So uh, removing it yeah. is what gets rid of it. And all you have to look for after that is if the tumor comes back and it should only come back in the same spot. Unless so, they unless they don't get it all out though. It's if they but, don't get it all out. But so as I mentioned, we are gonna get her surgery because we don't know yeah. and we're not gonna have peace of mind. Like I'm not gonna leave something on her that could potentially hurt her. Mm -mm. So she's gonna get surgery. It's the first time she's had surgery since she was spayed. I'm terrified to put her under, to be honest. I'm gonna be sick, like, the in the entire time. But I'm not gonna risk it. Um, okay, long story short, like, this do all of our dogs are our babies. And if anything was to happen to them, like... I don't know what I would do. Yeah, and like... Actually. It, even if it was one of them, like, I'm still gonna be the same way. It's just, ah, just, like, especially for the ones that have been here for the whole seven years of us being on YouTube. Like, this dog has been here since the beginning of our relationship, since YouTube, since I felt like I became a person. She was like She's the biggest there, blessing in our life. She was there for my transition. She was there for us dating. She was there, like, she was there for some, she got on TV. She did get on TV. <laughs> they didn't even say hi to us. TV. Like, this dog has just been, she's in the history books. Like, for real, so, oh, like, 
it's ridiculous. We're gonna get them removed. They're gonna get biopsied. We're gonna find out if they're benign or not. We're praying that they are benign. I'm staying positive that they are benign because if not, I don't know how we're gonna function through every day. Mm -hmm. The only way yeah. I got ready <laughs> today was by telling myself that Piglet is a healthy, happy dog. She is. She does not act like she is eight years old. She doesn't. I don't like even know what eight an eight-year-old old dog looks like, but like. I just feel like she, she's she's playing like a puppy. And still. knowing her bloodline and like the doctors aren't worried. And I, I literally asked the doctor, well, the nurse, I was like, this is a weird question, but I don't know how to feel right now. Like, should I be nervous or like, am I just thinking that this is a precaution? Mm -hmm. And she said to think of it as a precaution because nothing came, it could have came back like, oh, it's cancer. Yeah, it could have. But it, it up, didn't. Up. It was like, it, now, it's not great that it didn't come back as it's nothing, but. It's precaution, and worse comes to worse, it gets removed, and we keep an eye on it so that it doesn't come back. And if it does come back, we get it removed again. Yeah. But another thing you guys are going to be curious about, and you're going to wonder why, and I want to explain, because I would hope anyone that knows us knows we love our dogs, and we do anything for these dogs, and to take care of them and give them the best, healthiest, happiest lives. Her surgery isn't until October. And now when I first heard this, I was a little taken back and a little confused why it's so far away. And let me explain. So with this, if, if it is a tumor, these tumors take a long time to accelerate. They take a long time for anything else to happen. She's had it on her for so long and it hasn't grown any. They're booked out until September. We could do it in September, but this nurse who I full heartedly trust suggests waiting till October because there is a specific surgeon that, that is coming in in October who specializes in these surgeries. Not that their other doctor is bad, but you know, sometimes when you have a certain surgeon, like something for your heart, you go to a heart surgeon, brain, you go to a brain surgeon, this surgeon specializes in this and she knows that we, we want the absolute utmost for Piglet. Yeah. And she was just like, I think it would be best if you go with this one, if yeah. you're okay with waiting. She was like, obviously, God forbid, if something happens or it grows, we do emergency surgery. We mm -hmm. get her in right away. But for now, like everything should if be okay. If she's should still be fine. okay, then like it's safer to wait for to the, go with the, the surgeon, surgeon, make sure everything gets out, all the cells, everything gets out. And actually, happy news for her. And let me know if people do this for their dogs. Stop, it's gonna make me cry again. We're getting a pool, guys. Specifically more for them, I feel like, not even us. It is for them. Yeah, this is like a try not to cry video. It's just, it's a lot because also like coming from where I used to live. Hawk, <laughs> this is a try not to cry video. <laughs> Okay, what I'm trying to say is, so where we used to live before wasn't the best place at all. Like, really, really bad. I, I feel like I don't really talk about my past. I don't really bring it up. And me and Julia were really dedicated to make shit work and to get out of the spot where we were to get my mom, my little brother, Piglet. And we were able to do that. And like, one of the things we've always wanted for Piglet was a yard and we did that. And the next thing we've been waiting to do is get a pool and like, it's finally happening. So it's just like, and I know it probably it's really good. So it sounds so stupid. St some, some, some of these people that aren't dog people, you're like, what the f <laughs> like, yeah, we're spending all this money for but obviously we're gonna swim too, like, but like we're gonna but like you It's guys, something from the beginning we've always wanted. We weren't gonna get a pool for ourselves because like we were like, do we really need it? And we also didn't know like how long we were gonna, we're gonna be stay in, in this, this house. house. But after going to LA and there being a pool, Piglet and Pie love the water. Pudge kinda not really. Pudge not really. <laughs> But pig and pie are like water bugs. Yeah. And piglet especially. Oh my god. That, she, she goes under the water. She jumps in like, the water. She swims. It's like great exercise underwater. for her. It's great for her arthritis. And exactly. She lost some weight because yeah. they they said we should she should lose some weight. She was a little overweight, which was okay. She's happy. Yeah. But she lost a lot of weight swimming. I think it's good. I think it keeps her young. And yeah. She loves it. Um, it sucks because we don't have a pool here and there's been like blue algae going around in lakes killing dogs. So I'm scared I'm not to take doing her that to the either. Lake. Yeah, no. So I'm like, 
she's eight years old she's only getting older i want this dog to like live the best life possible so we're getting a pool like yeah. we're getting a pool like i don't care like this dog needs to swim the remaining of her life like i don't care i, I don't even care to swim that much i just want to see this dog swim and she was so happy and so was pie pudge didn't really care <laughs> pie and piglet swam all the time in la oh, and that was one of the things i felt so bad taking away from them i know because they stayed active, they had fun. And we've always debated on like, are we gonna move out of this house? Like all that stuff. And like, we've come to the conclusion, like I'm happy with the life we have and, and what too. we have. And I'm thankful and I'm blessed every single day. I just feel like, you know, like I'm just happy. And like, I just feel like, you know. Me too. So and I used to feel like I needed more out of life. And like, I realized a while ago that like, that's not like good. No. It's really not. And like, you know, just It's okay do what to you... be happy with what you have. But I'm, I'm, I love the things I have. But for a minute, like, I don't know why, like I was going through a really bad funk. And I'm just thankful every day and I'm happy and I'm excited for them to get a pool. I'm excited for them to swim. I'm excited to swim. It's been too hot this year. It has been. It's been really super, hot super this hot this year, but like, and that's another thing. Like I feel bad that they can't go out as much because of how hot it's been, but if they have Well a pool, Piglet can. Yeah. This one. The Frenchies can't. overheat no, really no. easy. This one. That Frenchie overheats it, really quick. Yeah. So we're getting a fence, like everything. Like it's just, uh, it's gonna be a really good environment for them and it's gonna give them something to do. I mean, do they already this. like the backyard, but if they had a pool, I mean, they'd be living the best. I uh, will let them swim every day. Yeah, literally. like they have sprinklers and stuff, but like. We're gonna make it salt water so that it's better for them. Yeah. We do a lot for our dogs. <laughs> I know, you was like, wait, is that for us or them? For them. <laughs> kind of works that her surgery is in October so, so she, she can, can get swim. she can swim the yeah. rest of the summer yeah she's she's gonna be able to swim get some energy out and then she'll get her surgery and we will keep you guys updated if anything last minute happens if anything like before after whatever we're gonna keep you guys updated we just wanted to tell you guys like how we're feeling like I feel like I wasn't gonna be able to record a different type of video without telling you guys this I already yeah we were gonna try to do a normal video and I just was like that's not it and like I talked about it on snapchat yesterday like Jules brought her to the vet and this happened so uh, I didn't even know I haven't said anything about it I yeah so I'm just we just wanted to let you guys know because you know we feel like you guys should know piglets so like a lot of you guys probably grew up with her too yeah i mean uh, she was make sure our girl is healthy she was our merch babe i know so. she's an angel she is she's a sweet girl so we're just looking for some positive vibes we're trying to stay positive about it it's just hard when you feel like i mean we don't have an actual child but these are our children and if any of them are hurt that's just how i feel like but i want to try to stay positive every day oh my god you don't understand i really did feel like a whole mom yesterday because when they told me that at the vet you know how hard it was to not cry mm. but she was I wasn't so there. nervous yeah pig was so nervous so i like i'm telling you this feels like my literal child i literally like mom instinct kicked in and i like kept my feelings together for her because she was so she was, nervous yeah. and i was like i can't let her know that i'm nervous because mm. she's already nervous so i have to be brave for her and it was so cute when she was getting her little tumor boat, we were singing the She's so brave. She's <laughs> and, not. Oh, was it you brave. feeding her treats? She <laughs> that, that's a cute thing about her. I said it don't matter how scared she is, she, she will eat. eat. <laughs> <laughs> she gotta eat, dude, regardless. <laughs> That's our update with Piggy Girl. We'll continue to keep you guys updated more. I'm glad all her blood work came back too. I think that's also what kind of comforts me. Yeah, that everything is else knowing, is knowing like really she good. is healthy. Yes, period. In every there's nothing else department. Yes, one thousand. So if you guys have had a similar experience with your dog or like these kind of tumors, please let us know, especially in the comments below, because we haven't dealt with this. I mean, you had your family dog, but were they ever cancerous? No. They were just... He just had fatty cells. I mean, I'm sorry, but the poodles, the little miniature poodles live the longest. They They'll do. have the most That's problems I mean. and he live like the longest. He was like 20. Like, he just, he was blind, deaf, diabetic. Like, he just kept it pushing. Poor little guy. God rest his soul. Rest in peace. But, real. like, this is like a whole different ballpark. And it's also like when it's your, like, literal own dog that you feed, you, you take care of. You, you, like, you damn near birthed. Literally. <laughs> like she came out of me that's how oh, i feel okay. i just love her a lot yeah 
think that's all for this video. If anything else happens, we're gonna give you guys an update, but the surgery is going to be in October. So hopefully nothing happens until October. Just add us on Snapchat or just stay following us on here and we'll hopefully this pool will come in soon and Pig will be swimming. Hopefully there are no updates. Hopefully it doesn't no, grow. No, hopefully she's just swimming in the pool. And she's just swimming and having fun. Yes. But anyway, we love you guys so much. We will see you later and stay, stay. A1.